I'm Olivia Newton-John and this is One World. On One World. The Jessica was a fuel tanker and had not been into Galapagos very frequently. It was at night. She probably um, got confused which light on shore was the actual heading light to enter into the port. And that put her over some shoals and she ran aground. Darwin wrote about the hostile forces of nature, but 150 years ago, he never could have imagined anything like this. These are the last gasps of the wrecked hull of the Jessica. And just as the ocean reclaims her, our memories may also fade in time. But the lessons from this spill will live on. When we return, we'll find out how such a small, relatively small spill could have such a big impact on protecting our one world. are the Galapagos Islands, playground for pirates, watering hole for the old whalers, and a classroom for the study of all living things. Galapagos is a, is a really fascinating place. We have an extremely high number of endangered species and possibly extinct species in, in Galapagos. And these are all species that are just found in the Galapagos. And it's probably unique on a world scale to have this number of, of endangered species in one area. Es mágico porque estoy rodeado de naturaleza, de aire fresco. Estoy rodeado de algo mágico que solo pocas personas tenemos esa suerte. Ahora la tienes tú y seguramente la vas a percibir al simple hecho de mirar un paisaje o ver a unos animales. Es mágico. The Galapagos belong to Ecuador, but they also belong to the world. And in a geologic blink of an eye, humans have moved in and made our claim here fast. Of course, the person who truly introduced the Galapagos to the world was the great naturalist Charles Darwin, whose theories on evolution were so explosive and controversial that when they were published in the mid-1800s, it sent a wave of scientists and theologians here. The first real human rush to the islands. In the beginning, they visited, and then people started staying here to research, to fish, to live. 20,000 now call the islands home, and of course they need food to eat, oil, gasoline, boat fuel, flown in from the mainland, but mostly brought by ship. I'm Olivia Newton-John, and this is San Cristobal, the fishing center of the archipelago, and one of the few islands in the Galapagos inhabited by humans. Out there is Wreck Bay, and it's called Wreck Bay for a reason. There have been many shipwrecks there, dating back to the times of the buccaneers. But back then, when a vessel ran aground, the impact was primarily financial in nature. But now, when these things happen, it's nature herself who is impacted. The Jessica was a, a fuel tanker carrying fuel for local boats and the production of electricity in the Galapagos. She also had a heavier type of diesel fuel called bunker used by one vessel in the Galapagos. The Jessica, while she had carried fuel a lot in the past, had not been into Galapagos very frequently and entered into the port on the right heading, but perhaps half a mile to the west. And that put her over some shoals and she ran aground. Now, as time went on, the vessel began to list, and once salt water gets onto the deck of a carrier, that salt water can get down into the tanks and floats the oil out. In other words, oil floats on top of salt water, and that began the spill. When Darwin arrived on the Beagle, the ship was powered by wind and lighted by whale oil. 
When the Jessica arrived, it carried 160,000 gallons of diesel and 80,000 gallons of bunker fuel. About 170,000 of all that spilled into these pristine waters. Fortunately, the currents took the oil directly west, away from most of the coastlines. But although the environmental contamination was minimal, it was widespread. 79 sea lions were affected by the spill, but all were saved. And thanks to the quick response of researchers and individuals and organizations around the world, a real tragedy was averted.